<laughs> Back again with another exciting video. Well, today's video is going to be about spiritual relationships. You know, because I know in voodoo tradition, we hear of a person marrying a law. And I also want to talk about respect for the law. Now, I want to say this. Beyond everything you see, let's look at it like this. The spirit comes first. Many people say God comes first. I say this because if it wasn't for the spirits, that relationship you had, I'm talking about the those who have embraced and got things from voodoo. You got all the lovers in your life. If it wasn't for the spirit, you would not have those things. So this is why they come first. You know, the spirit is your wifey. This, this spirit comes first. Without her, you would not have any love in your life. So for women, you may have your spiritual husband, you know, whomever it may be, the men you have in your life, that is the spirit who blessed you with them. So when you go astray from that spirit, you begin to see that the men in your life begin to fall away. Now for guys, you begin to see that all the females that uh, Ezra Lee has, the, the, whatever, whatever Ezra Lee you're serving, has blessed you with. You begin to see it fall away when you neglect her. So this becomes very important for me to say. I don't be trusting these hoes. I don't be spending these hoes. <laughs> but you know, let me stop playing with whoever. The spirit comes first. Don't think that you can work out your carnal problems. You know, don't be thinking that you can work out your problems whatsoever. With the female, without going to the spirit. If the spirit gave you that female, who do you think you're going to go to, to fix your problem with? You got to go to the spirit for that. Because that female was sent to me by the spirit. Now, I got to say something to you guys. Respecting the spirit. Just because certain spirits put certain people in your life doesn't mean that you violate them by bringing that person in front of that spirit and having sex in front of them. There's a thing about respect, and this is just in general with a lot of spirits. Some spirits don't even get down like that. Some law want you to have a personal relationship with them, and you do not bring anyone around them, period. And this is must be respected. So you have to find your niche in the path of voodoo that you walk. Are you going to practice voodoo when it comes to your relationship in the sense of a monogamous relationship? with that particular law, or are you going to practice a polygamous relationship with the law, where you serve them, but you have all your girlfriends and lovers? This is something that you have to take in consideration, because certain law, they don't want you to deal with anybody else except for them. Then there's certain law, that's okay. Where Ezra Lee is like, Ezra Lee Freda, she's like, well, I will give you all the mulatto women, all the, the poyol, you know, Latino women, all the light-skinned women, she'll give you all of that. But, you got, your heart is for her. She makes everything happen, she lets you have all your lovers at the end of the day, but you pay her, her due, her respect. You gotta understand what relationship you got with the Lua. Because the relationship you got with Ezreli Freda is not the same relationship you have with Ezreli Don't Talk. Now, let's talk about marriage. Spiritual marriage, spiritual husband, spiritual wife. This is a symbolic language. Anytime you connect with a moi, whether it's male or female, you have a relationship. In that relationship, you can look at it in many ways as my spiritual mother, my spiritual father. You know, you can look at it in that sense. Or you can look at it as a sense of lovers. You know, again, it's all the same thing. It's just wording. You know, how a person words it. But again... Some spirits, you can look at it from one sense as the spirit will say, this spirit doesn't want you to be, yet yeah, your, your body to be dedicated to them as a, a, you know, a holy temple, you know, and then you have another spirit that may say, oh, well, you know what, have all the women in your life, you know, have all the sex in your life, all I just want you to do is basically, you know, give me my offerings and go about your business. You've got to find out 
what spirit, what relationship that spirit wants with you. And now, on top of that, the most important thing is respecting the spirit. Like again, I, as I said, you don't bring any females around and have sex in front of your spirits. This will piss them off. And depending on what type of spirit it is, they may, you know, they may do something to that lover of yours that you've brought in basically uh, created a uh, violation or an abomination before the spirit. So with that said, I don't have much more to say. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.